so I'm not sure if you have heard of the uh, TV series called Sacred Games. It's very famous or unfamous. Uh, it is a lot of uh, sexual and violence content in it. So what do you think uh, art and entertainment should be given that much space? Or it is disturbing to know that uh, uh, TV series like these are very famous and popular in today's generation? If I understand the question right, you're asking why something that depicts so much uh, violence and sexuality, why is it popular or why should we allow it to happen? Is that the question? Yeah, or it should be allowed in art as in it's okay to be there. See, the dangers of this, even addressing this question is, if you address this question, immediately some people think their own ideas of what's right and wrong can be imposed on other people, which will not work in a free society, it will not work. At the same time, is violence, extreme violence in movies and very gross ways of… Uh, usually sexuality means generally a woman is being treated in a not necessarily a nice way. I remember in the seventies there were movies, Hindi movies. I did not see most of them but people used to tell me that there were some actors who are called rape specialists. So in every movie, there has to be one rape. It became almost like a standard for some time. So all those people who saw those movies as children, because there was no uh, adult certification for that, anybody could go and watch it, they thought this is the way to treat a woman. Now when rape happens in the street, why are you surprised, I'm asking? We have cultivated them. All said and done, the cinema may be a commercial enterprise, but it has a profound impact in a society like this. See, in certain other countries, people watch the movie, go home, forget about it. Here it's not like that, we even elect them. Because a cinema is not a cinema, cinema is more than reality in this country. So when it is like that, I think it should be conducted more responsibly. What is it that we are trying to create? If you try to control it from outside, it will become ugly. If people use just about anything and everything to make money at the cost of the society, that is definitely ugly. So, I don't know what this television serial is because I never get the time to look at that place. Whatever it is, I don't know in what context. See, there is violence in the society, you don't have to hide it, you can show it. There is sexuality in the society, you don't have to hide it, you can show it. But are you glorifying it or are you showing it in a way that people say this is not the way? You showed a rape because it's happened. When people see it, they must say, this is not the way. If they think, wow, this is the way, then what kind of society are you creating? <laughs> so, many times this has come to me in various different forms, this kind of question. I think people are hiding behind art. I'm sorry if I, if I say anything no, wrong. People are hiding behind the term art. If it is art, it should not be so commercial. You're doing commerce and you're calling it art. There may be some artistry involved in it, we appreciate that. But there was a time when we were growing up, there were art movies and there were commercial movies. Now there is no such thing, commercial movies are art. So commercial movies are made essentially to make money. Somebody is investing to make money, 
nothing wrong with commerce because nothing wrong with commerce, nation's commerce has to develop in all levels. So entertainment is also commerce, it's fine. If it is commerce, then it must be controlled, there must be proper… For every commerce, there is a, a certain amount of control, isn't it, in a society? In this society, though today everybody, at least a lot of… a big percentage of population is drinking, still we are holding on to it that you cannot adver advertise alcohol. They will show an alcohol, bot alcohol bottle and say CDs and music. Yes or no? Sparkle water. Sparkle Sparkling music. water. That is okay, but CD and CD music, and how does it come, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm saying when we see it is going to influence the society in a big way, there are controls. So, if… If something is going to impact the society, there must be some sort of control. It is best the self-control is self-imposed rather than a government agency imposing it because then it'll become something else, very ugly it'll become somebody who doesn't know anything about it. It is not about deciding what people should see and should not see. It is about where do we want to drive the society. Right now, more than… I don't know about this television serial, I'm continuously speaking about all the… what are these… Uh, video games. A five-year-old child enjoys shooting people. That's the only thing he plays. He enjoys shooting people, shooting people, shooting people. On the screen, it's quite good because it doesn't spill blood anywhere, it's okay. There it spills, but it's okay. Now when he becomes eighteen, doesn't he want to get a little real? Hello? In United States, the school shootings are happening. People think it's an American phenomenon. No, no, no. If there were guns in Indian homes, it will happen. Hello? You think it won't happen? In America, in every home, there is more than one weapon, all right? In almost every home. There is more than one weapon, minimum. There is at least a shotgun and a handgun, for sure. We have toy guns. Not that, I'm saying yeah. real… real yeah. firearms. Real, yeah. So there is excess, so it is only happening in America. But if there were weapons in Indian homes, even here kids would be shooting each other, for sure. When, when emotions fire up, you want to shoot, isn't it? So from the age of four, five, if you're practicing how to shoot people, when you become sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, don't you want to get real? Don't you want to see some real blood? I don't see what's wrong. If you're cultivating your children to do this on the screen continuously, what is the problem for you if he gets real or if his friend gets real and he shoots your ch child, what is the problem I'm asking? Because you must understand, certain actions have certain consequences. This must be handled responsibly by people who are creating those things. If you bring laws for everything, then society becomes ugly. Government cannot manage these things. People should manage these things. So if somebody makes such a thing, people should not go and watch it. But no, they all want to go and see. So somewhere they enjoy it, isn't it? Today you see any of the Hollywood movies, it's not like before. Before also they were shooting, but now it comes, the bullet enters and the brains splash and there is a rerun. Again it comes in slow motion and splashes all over the place, people are enjoying it. Once you enjoy these things, then violence is inevitable on the street. It's just a question of graduation, isn't it? So what kind of society we want to create? All those people who influence the society in a big way, whether artists, politicians, media people, 
spiritual leaders, religious leaders, whoever has influence over people, they must look into themselves and see what is the consequence of our actions. This much responsibility must come.